This video will give an overview of our project, which is a ski device that attaches to wheelchairs to enable easier movement on snow and ice. Here's a quick glance at our team. Sarah Kleinberger is an industrial engineering major and our team's project manager. Andrew Bosek is a mechanical engineering major and acts as our team's lead engineer. Benjamin Lamb is a mechanical engineering major and is our team's purchasing lead. Corinna Amato is a biomedical engineering major and it is our team's facilitator. Here we have the Abiliski, an assistive device to encourage wheelchair users to participate in snow activities such as skiing and snowshoeing, as well as to gain better mobility in snowy conditions. There are some challenges that arise when using a wheelchair in the snow, which may prevent people from enjoying the outdoor activities with their peers during the winter season. Some challenges include the front wheels getting stuck in the snow and icy conditions not allowing the wheels to function properly. We were given the freedom to design a new product combating this problem from the ground up with the stakeholders vision to have a product that is inclusive to as many wheelchairs and physical disabilities as possible. There are several other competitors trying to fill this market gap, including wheel blades, slick skis, and polar skis. Our product is unique compared to competitors because it will allow the user to attach and detach the ski at a faster pace, will be lighter, and will reduce the need to bend down to get in and out of the ski. At first, we came up with multiple design solutions in SolidWorks and decided which fit the customer's needs the most. Both the left and right designs were the initial designs we began with, and from these we created our final design, the Abiliski. This is the Abiliski. The leftmost picture is an image of the design we created. This design accommodates wheel diameters from 4 to 10 inches and wheel widths from 0.75 to 2 inches. The center image shows our preliminary prototype. We use this prototype to validate and verify the latching and clamping components. The right image shows our final machine design, which is made of aluminum for the metal components and acetyl for the plastic components. There are a couple of major components that are worth mentioning about our product. The first is wheelchair compatibility, which is optimized by our product allowing for a wide range of wheel widths. The static clamp seen in the red box is adjustable by screwdriver and should only have to be adjusted before the first use if the user only has one wheelchair. The other major component is the locking mechanism, which was designed with ease of use and attachment speed in mind. The latch, shown in the red box, starts in the closed position. The user rolls into the ski and the latch is released into the open position. This will release the springs and clamp the wheels into place. The user independence approach of our design includes a ski pole that our group designed. The hook at the end of the pole is intended for attaching to the underside of the latch so the user can pull up to set the latch into the open position. The latch has indents on both the top and bottom to allow the hook to attach more easily. To verify the feasibility and function of the Abiliski, we conducted various tests on the prototype. In this first video, you can see how a wheelchair without the Abiliski would function in the snow. You can clearly see that it is not easy to navigate the wheels through the snow because the front caster wheels dig into the snow, which causes the user to get stuck. Using the Abiliski combats this problem. In the next testing video, you can see how the clamping and latching mechanism designed works. You can also see how the pole does enable the user to attach the ski to their wheelchair without needing to bend over. This same process would be repeated to detach the ski from the wheelchair. In this last video, you can see the Abila ski in action, functioning as it should and enabling the wheelchair to glide easily over the snow without getting stuck. Our team expects to have a finalized working prototype that has passed all of the tests outlined in our test plans by Imagine RIT. We'd like to give a big thanks to our client, Joe Cabes, for trusting us with designing his product idea and to our guide, Stephen Pello, 
for helping us through design challenges and answering any questions we have. We are excited to build our first prototype and present it at Imagine RIT.